Hello! Today I'm going to be unboxing my new CNC router. It's like a 3D printer, instead of, only that it cuts instead of deposits. And I'm prepared for the day with a few things. First, my daughter Helena behind the camera. Say hello. Hello. And I've got a toolbox and a screwdriver, a knife and some scissors in case I need to cut through anything, and a bag to put any of the rubbish or recycling or what have you. So let's start opening this. Now the one thing is I'm not going to move it around too much yet because as I understand it, this is about 22 kilos, so I should be very careful moving it. Okay, let's open it up. So, it's already been cut open, my wife cut it open earlier. Okay, and we'll start putting some of this packaging in the bag. So, we can clearly see what I think is a spindle motor. Okay, let's see. Right, now this other box here, I'm presuming, is the control box. This feels quite heavy. Let's get this out. Another box! Another box. Okay, we'll put this to one side. And we can now see the bed of the router. You can see the stepper cables here. Some extra stuff around. Yes, I was right, that is the spindle motor. It looks like what we've got is we've got a Z-axis here. I'm presuming this must be the X and the Y, but we'll find out when I connect it up. Let's just take the rest of this packaging out. Now we're getting a good look at the router. Now there's a piece of hard wood under there. Oh, that. Under there. And there you've got here the cables to the steppers. Let's have a look at the control box then, yeah? Okay. Let's open it up and see what's going on. And it looks like also there might be some documentation in there, that's good. So I've opened up the control box here, came open nicely with a knife. And first we've got, okay, Chinese European plug changer. We won't need that. Because it's Chinese. Well, because we'll have it. And there's a kettle lead. I've got one of those with an English plug, thank you very much. And here, okay, a little bit of a few tips. Oh, okay, it's from eBay. They want me to give them five stars. That's very nice. A CD with some software on it, and what's this? Okay, I'll have a look at the documentation later. That's boring. Okay, and look now. Here is where we have the stepper motors. This is the important one of the important bits of the machine. It makes the whole machine move. We've got one, two and three of them. Okay, we've then got, oh, here's the main control box. We've got a parallel cable and a bag of screws and nuts, a few Allen keys, a few extra bits, probably to attach the stepper motors and tighten it up. Okay. That's a really big thing. I'm now opening the control box and if you look how much Bubble wrap layers are here. One, two, three, four, five layers of bubble wrap. Now, my plan, my master plan, is to open up this control box and reuse the motor controllers with an Arduino so then I don't need to use a parallel port on a computer. So I can run the G code on the Arduino. And here we are. Here is the control box. We've got a switch for the power. A switch to turn on the, the, the motor spindle for the drill, speed for the spindle, and an emergency stop. Oh, I see. It started in the stop position. Okay, excellent. Right. Where is the go position? Out is the go position, in is stop. And on the back, we have the parallel port, the power. We've got the three motor axes and a spindle. Oh, what's that? So the spindle is for the drill. How was that? Oh, that. This is a fan to stop it getting too hot. We've got an air intake here. So there's going to be a combined power supply inside here. And there's going to be the power transformers for the steppers, <sighs> which are going to get nice and hot when the steppers are running. So there's got to be a fan and these air, air coolers. And you can see a great big heat sink in there to stop this getting too hot. Following unboxing it, I've started attaching these stepper motors to the main machine. It came with a kit, including some Allen keys. 
and the stepper motors have Allen key fittings. Luckily, all three stepper motors are the same, and it's relatively obvious where they're supposed to go. This is the back of the machine, and you'll note that the stepper has a cable, and the place it's supposed to clip looks fairly obvious to me. So I've installed three motors, and I've used what appear to be cable gatherers up here. I note in the pictures on the eBay that these were not actually attached to anything, but I think if I attach them to the spindle cable, then they'll stop it getting caught into that linear bearing. Tiny Allen keys were used for attaching the lead screws to the steppers. And I used a rather handy tiny little torch to get in there and see them. And the kit came luckily with a nice set of Allen wrenches that I was able to use to build it. The next step is to start looking at the controller.